Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. I hope you and your family have a wonderful time of festivities, food, and whatever else you may do to celebrate today. I'm starting my Thanksgiving festivities the way our forefathers intended, by reading through an unbelievably long list of accusations and allegations against a YouTuber named Dream. Massive YouTuber, I'm sure you're familiar with the channel. He's... I don't know how he's celebrating Thanksgiving, but I'll tell you one thing I know he's not thankful for, and it's Twitter. There are at least a hundred thousand different threads attempting to chronicle every single allegation as well as like the supposed evidence to support all the claims. And this morning, I decided to like finally just take the plunge, fucking cannonball into this cesspool and figure out what exactly he's even being accused of, what the evidence is, trying to make heads or tails of this wild web of things. And Jiminy Christmas, uh, I'll just tell you sports fans, I'm more confused than a caveman seeing fire for the first time. I've read through so much shit, and then I'll go to another thread, and then it contradicts all the shit I just read, and then there's a whole other thread about debunking all of this shit, and then I'll finally feel like, okay, I understand what's happening here, but then from out of nowhere, a new challenger enters WrestleMania coming from the top turnbuckle and blasts the whole thing wide open by making some crazy claims about, like, actually the debunking was false, this is a fake account, or, ooh, the uh, initial account that started posting these claims turns out to be completely fake, and here's proof of them admitting that it was all a, a ruse, and then apparently it's become a very common pastime for people to just make brand new fake accounts and start putting in a bunch of wild allegations on top of all of this to keep muddying the waters. It is so messy. The allegations include grooming, Dream being a pedophile, sending moaning videos through Snapchat to minors. There's a ton of claims, a ton of different things from a ton of different places. And throughout trying to follow all of it as well as the evidence, Everything just keeps getting flipped around, and it just, it's been extremely difficult to figure out what you can trust and what you can't. A lot of the claims do seem very believable, and some of the evidence seems credible, but none of it's like 100% concrete proof of anything. I truly believe Dream is a narcissist. I think most people believe that, and I think Dream knows his audience mainly skews towards kids. Dream's audience has always been on the younger side of things, and yet Dream constantly engages with them in very inappropriate ways, such as like posting thirst traps, some of the things he says, like all of that very public and very well documented. I think all of it's very creepy, and I've said that quite a bit in the past. So I think with his history of doing things like that, it makes a lot of the claims have a lot more weight to them because they're much more believable knowing that Dream publicly does encourage his fans to be parasocial. He does post thirst traps, even knowing that his fans are children. Which I personally believe is a creepy thing to do with the audience he has. So, when these claims come out, I think a lot of people start to take them at face value because they're like, oh, that, that sounds like the dream that I know. Uh, you know, this sounds like something dream might do, so it's probably true. Even though right now, a lot of the evidence backing it up isn't the strongest. Even Like, there is evidence, sure, but it's nothing that 100% condemns him or 100% shows that the claims being made are accurate. Let me give you an example of one that blew up a couple days ago during the whole dream did what Twitter trend. So, Dream was accused of sending moaning videos through Snapchat to minors. And here's the evidence for that. This is allegedly Dream's Snapchat account, but there's nothing actually connecting this account to those videos whatsoever. You can easily just make a fake Dream Dream Snapchat account. There's nothing in those videos that has his face or anything. It's just the sound of someone moaning that resembles Dream's voice. To me, it sounds more like a Shane Dawson moan. Uh, I don't listen to a lot of Dream, but when I heard that, I thought for sure this was leaked audio of Shane Dawson when he did that degenerate shit with his cat. These videos just aren't definitive proof of anything. It's a black screen with the sound of somebody moaning. Now that's not to say that this can't be real. It could be Dream. I have no way of knowing for sure one way or the other. It's just right now with what is presented, it's not enough to convince me beyond a shadow of a doubt that this is Dream here. 
anyone could be moaning there and just say, look, it's Dream, listen, it's definitely him. But it's just a complete random person doing it. If they really wanted to get wacky with it, they could have grabbed the audio from that classic meme where the guy passes a kidney stone while coming and is like screaming while orgasming. <laughs> like that, and then just say, it's Dream, look, and it was sent to a minor. Even though, again, there's also no proof of it being sent to a minor, at least nothing that I can find here for that. So the only proof here is the name, Dream Dream, it's clearly his Snapchat, it must be. And listen to him moan and look at what he said. And then it's just some like really fucking cringe text that seems like it's straight out of the worst written erotica fanfic ever. I'd kiss your neck and tease the shit out of you, run my hand up your body. Your tits are so nice, what the fuck, I just want to fill you up, princess. Oh god, sickening, vomit-inducing trash there. But I just don't see anything here that proves that this is Dream that sent it A, and Dream that sent it to a minor B. Like, and I also don't, just on a side note, I don't think anyone's ever been so terminally horny that they send a video of them moaning to somebody. That is just so conceptually baffling to me. I don't know if it's commonplace for a dude to do that, but I can't even imagine that. To just send, send a clip of you moaning to someone would be like the worst jump scare ever, just... Like, oh, are you feeling it now, babe? Like, do you like that one? Like, I, I can't even imagine that thought process. But again, there just isn't enough here for me to know what is true and what is false. As more and more evidence comes out, I'm sure it'll make it more and more clear. But so far, everything that keeps coming out has a thousand other things that all try and, like, contradict it. And it, gets, it just gets so hard to figure out what's real, what's fake. There is only one small chapter in this massive textbook here that I was able to confirm beyond a shadow of a doubt at least happened and is 100% real. And that's the entire saga of him versus Nicholas Cantu, the voice of Gumball. 10,000, 100,000 of them to take me down. So that's how minuscule you are to my size, right? My stature of intelligence, character, body, and um, reverence in the world. 1K is better for this pussy who doesn't want to give away his millions. Are you Jewish? No, man, because I'm going to do movies, stand-up, comedy, everything, all this shit. That's Music, fine, whatever good. the fuck, e-commerce. You don't understand that you're talking to, like, a Michelangelo. So, in this anime arc here, for all of the dream controversy, what happened is, Nicholas Cantu and Dream got into a big verbal disagreement, apparently even got physical with, like, Nicholas slapping Dream and this and that. Uh, Dream eventually filmed Nicholas in an Uber where he was drunk and high, so cross-faded. According to some of the claims, he was also going through a manic episode. In the video, he starts saying some awful shit. He starts saying slurs, too, towards Dream. And Dream captures this footage, eventually drops it online, and then goes over the situation. Both people catch a lot of shit here, Dream and Nicholas. However, the internet mainly rallied behind Nicholas against Dream. Dream is not a very well-liked person online for a variety of different reasons. In this case, they cited the fact that he filmed this and then tried to use it as a weapon as an extremely weird thing to do, especially when considering some of the other circumstances at play around this situation. I'm not here to get too deep into the weeds of the gumball versus Dream stuff here. There's plenty of information out there about it if anyone's curious enough to look into it. The only reason I'm bringing it up here is because out of everything I've been reading so far, this seems to be the only one that I can confirm with 100% certainty this is a legitimate situation that happened as it was described and as it was claimed to have happened. Just like sand. You can see it, you can touch it, you can taste it. It's real. It's there. So there is a lot of proof around this one. This whole situation actually happened. Now, Dream has been anything but silent on this case. He's been engaging directly with all of the shit going on on Twitter, and he made a statement saying that it's all false, it's all a lie, and he's making a huge comprehensive video going over each and every component of it. So I guess we'll have to see what he says in that video about everything. Obviously, I don't think he's going to admit to anything, even if it is true, but I think just by having him address it, it'll help figure out what claims even have real validity to them in the first place, because I imagine when tackling these things, he's going to go over the situation, which could help piece together the story, and maybe some of the claims do get proven true from Dream's video, even though he's been trying to make excuses for it. Like, it's there's no telling. If all of the claims are fake, if all of the claims are true, I have no idea, but all I know for sure 
is this is a fucking crazy, messy, nearly impossible situation to actually follow and get to the bottom of. So I guess we'll see what happens when he posts this, uh, when he posts his video about this, and uh, go from there. That's about it. See ya.